All right, guys, here we go. So we've had some questions about um, how I should set up two column notes in um, like you know digitally, basically. A lot of us are familiar with, with how we take the paper and we fold it up and we make those two column notes. Um, but how would I do that on the computer version of the same thing? It's actually really simple. I generally use the tab key um, to try to set that up. So let me show you how that works. Um, so I'm going to come up here and go to Drive. I'm going to open up a doc. I'll go ahead and open a new document. And I'm going to start typing my notes. So, of course, you know, T. T equals whatever my title is. I probably want that to be nice and big, so I'm going to change the size up to something like that. I might even center it. And then I'm going to drop back down. Now, here's where a lot of people get themselves confused. Make sure I set my font size back to something more agreeable. Um, they get themselves confused because they think that what they need to do is come up with like like two different columns on the paper because it's a two column note. And so they'll they'll try to come up here to like a table and they'll insert a table that's you know two by one or or they might go and change the format and and come over here to columns. I don't mess with that stuff. Okay. All that you need to do is organize your paper in this way. Okay. Remember two column notes have two main things once you get your topic down. They have the greens, which is the title. They have the yellow key points, which is what I'm going to put in now. And they have the red supporting details. Those are the three main pieces. Okay. So on my paper, all that I have to do is, is go to a numbered list is, is a good option. Um, and I'm going to come up with you know, key point number one. Okay, so whatever I might type in there. Okay. Now, one way that you can do this is you can just use the tab key. So I might tab over here some distance that I think looks like a good column distance, maybe here and decide that I want to go, um, whoops, let me do that. Decide that I want to go ahead and put in my, my list of my supporting details. Now I can't do another, like a bulleted list or a numbered list within the formatting of the document because I've already got one over here. So what I do is I just use asterisks. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to hit number eight and that's going to put in a little thing. I double tap my space bar and I'm just going to go to supporting detail number one. And then I'm going to drop down. I don't need this bulleted list particularly. So I'm going to tab over there, put in my asterisk, double tap it. It doesn't auto format like that. I just hit control Z to undo it. Double tap that over and In detail number two, and oops, double tap it. Supporting detail number three, and so on, and so on, and so on. So I'm just going to keep putting in my supporting details for for whatever that first key point was. Okay. Now it's time to do the next key point. So I'm going to give some space. I'm going to type that number two in there. Well, I wonder what will happen if I do this. Yeah, it's just going to give me another one, which means that the whole number thing is not even really necessary. So let's just make that go away everywhere. Okay, so I'll just come down a nice distance here. Key point number two. Guess what? 
asterisk, double tap. I think most of you can probably see where this is going to go. So we'll do the quick version. Okay, just like that. Now, obviously, probably clean this up a little bit better here. Obviously, my supporting details are not very long because this is, you know, just a sample for you to get the idea of how to set up the format. You might have a moderately complete sentence right there um, that would be explaining, you know, what some of your supporting details were for whatever this key point was over here. Um, so it may end up taking up a little bit more space than that. Some people will come in and emphasize these key points by maybe changing the font size of just that section. That's too big. So we'll go to like 18 and we'll bold it. And so I can hit down the control key. Whoops, guess not. Bold. 18, bold, 18, bold. Would have been better to do this beforehand, but that's just okay. Because usually, honestly, this is what I do a lot of times. So I'll type my document, and then I'll make it look the way that I want to after I have the information in. And so now my columns don't line up because I made these bigger. So I need to hit the tab key again move all of these over, bring them back, whoops. Bring them back over to here. Okay, so there we are. This is two column notes. It might not look like it, um, but you know, Basically, you have this line here. In fact, I'll put it in there for you because I think I can go. There, so there's your, there's your top T line. And then, of course, this gap that we established with our tab key. I can't put a line there in my document, but that's the other line of your two-column note right there. And so just like regular two column notes, we've got a kind of narrow section over here for the key points. And then over here, there's a much larger section for you to type in all of your supporting details and those types of things. So if you have a, a task where you need to create some two column notes, some people call it an informal outline. It's the same basic thing. Um, this would be the way that I would organize it if I were doing it in Google Docs. Enjoy. Hey. Make today a great day. See you soon.